Did you know that you can advertise your business on YouTube and spend as low as one naira per view? That is like $0.0006 per view. Yes, it is possible. And that is what I want to show you right in today's video. You can advertise your business on YouTube and get thousands or even millions of views and spend as less as one naira per view. So right, I will show you how to do that from A to Z. But before I start, let me quickly mention something very important. This type of advertisement is basically for brand awareness and you will need to have like a 15 seconds video on YouTube before you can run this type of advertisement for your business. That being said, let's go ahead and demonstrate how you can do this for your business right now. Currently, I'm in my Google Ads account and this account is operating in Naira. So if you want to run this type of advertisement, you can use any currency to run the advertisement. So the amount you're going to be charged by YouTube or by Google will be determined by the currency you are using and the location you are targeting for your advertisement. So right, I'll be using this account, this Naira account. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and click on the new campaign. By the way, if you have never run advert on Google before, I encourage you to go ahead and learn about it before you start advertising your business on Google. When you learn about it, you'll be able to do it the right way. So what I'll be revealing to you right in today's video will not be very advanced. So let's go ahead and start this. I click on new and the first thing that we'll do is I will choose objective for this campaign. Like I said, this type of campaign is for brand awareness. If you have different goal instead of brand awareness, if you go ahead and choose other go right here, you will not be able to create this type of advertisement I'm about to show you right in today's video. So if you want to use this same type of advertisement, you must use either brand awareness or creating a campaign without goals guidance. If you have taken any of my courses, you realize that I usually recommend for people to create a campaign without goals guidance. And the simple reason is because that will give you access to all the features available on Google Ads. And if you know what you are doing, you will be able to create your campaign just exactly the way you want the campaign to be. And for this, I know what I want to do. I know the goal. I know the objective. And that is brand awareness. So I will go ahead and choose brand awareness. That is awareness and consideration. And when I do that, I see I have three types of campaign available. But let me shock you. If I go ahead and select this, you see I have nine campaigns available and that is the difference when you choose a particular objective and when you choose to create your campaign without goals guidance so let's go back and choose brand awareness then i have three campaign i have the display i have the video and i have the demand chain so i want to use the video obviously we want to advertise on youtube so i select video immediately i do that i have this for campaign subtype i have the video view i have the video reach i have the ad sequence and i have the audio now it's time for you to choose the right one for your campaign remember the one you choose right now will determine the type of advert you will be able to create for your business if you choose right you get it right if you choose wrong you get it wrong so right now by default google selected video view so if you are creating a campaign and you are using google's guidance to create your campaign you will likely not going to be able to get exactly what you want to get in most cases that is why it is recommended for you to learn how to advertise your business on google the right way go ahead and learn from a specialist who have been doing it for a very long time i actually have a course on that if you want to take the course i will drop the link to that course at the end of this video so let's go back to the discussion for today i want to go ahead and choose the campaign subtype so which subtype are we going to choose among these four options obviously we're going to choose the video reach then i will select that and i will proceed to the next step now i have three additional steps right here i have efficient reach i have the non-skippable and i have the target frequency because we want to use the 15 seconds video to run this type of advert so that we can reach huge numbers of people and we'll be able to deliver our message and the beauty is that everyone who is going to see this video they will not be able to skip our advertisement until they finish watching the video so whatever message you want to deliver in this type of advertisement you must be able to deliver everything in 15 seconds and when you do that 
everyone who watched the video or who see your advert will definitely see everything in that video so right we'll go ahead and choose the non-skippable because this advert cannot be skipped you must be patient enough to watch everything right in the advert so i'll click on that then i'll click on continue now that i click on continue the next thing i want to do is to give this campaign a name so i recommend for you to give your campaign a very descriptive name so that when you start managing your account you'll be able to remember the campaign and this will help you to manage your campaign very well especially if you have multiple campaigns in your google ads account so for this let's go ahead and give it brand awareness demo campaign now the next thing is the bidding strategy and the bid strategy is actually how google will be able to charge you for your advertisement for this particular campaign the default selected bidding strategy is target cpm and that is the amount you are going to be paying each time 1000 people see your advertisement that is cost per mail impression so whenever 1000 people see your advertisement the amount you are going to be paying for that and that is what the target cpm is all about i can go ahead and click on it to see if there's other available bidding strategy that i can choose for this campaign so if i go ahead and click right now i will look at it and then you can see only the target cpm is actually available for this type of campaign but that's perfectly fine we go to the next step which is the budget and by default google will select campaign total and the simple reason is very simple this type of advertisement can reach thousands or even millions of people very fast now in case you are advertising and you are using maybe credit card to pay for your advertisement and you choose this type of campaign to run daily you will be able to run the advert as long as possible and this will be consuming your budget every single day and this can put you in a serious debt if you don't manage your account but when you choose the campaign total it means that when you exhaust the amount you set for the campaign the campaign will stop running and you are not going to be spending beyond your budget for that campaign and that is basically why by default campaign total is selected and that is perfectly fine but if you want to run this advert continuously and you know you're going to be managing it you can go ahead and change this to daily budget so if you change it to daily budget it means that the campaign will continue to run for as long as possible until you pause it so if i go ahead and choose back to campaign total then i can set the total budget right here so i will set the budget as maybe five thousand that is the campaign total then i will select the end date let me just say today is 22nd i will just say maybe 27th that means the campaign will automatically stop on 27 so the budget will be distributed for the period of maybe five days like i selected right here so i will go to the next step so on the next step right now you can see the network so i will click on the network so by default your advert will serve on youtube but there are other options that are added by google the other options are google tv and then google partner site you can decide whether you want your advert to run on google tv or google partner website by the way the google tv is only available in the us as at the time of recording this video so it doesn't make any sense for me to allow that since i'm not advertising in the us at the moment so i can remove this and then the next one is the video partners website on the display network so if you want your advert to also run on partners website you can leave that but for me i like to run my advert only on youtube particularly this type of advertiser so i will go ahead and remove this option as well now i'm left with only the default option that i cannot remove which is youtube and that is perfectly fine then i'll go to the next step and then the next step is the location targeting by default when you are creating your campaign on google ads your account location will be selected for that particular campaign and this account location is nigeria wherever you are in the world your location will be selected depending on the location of that account so right nigeria is selected and that is perfectly fine but if i want the advert to be run in a specific location maybe i want it to run only in lagos i can go ahead and enter another location and i type lagos right here so i type lagos i have the city i have the state i can go ahead and choose the state 
so that is perfectly fine then i go to the next step now the next step is the language english is selected by default because english is the default setting for this google ads account so for you if your default account setting is maybe arabic then your arabic will be selected for the campaign so that is perfectly fine the next thing is the related video we're not going to be adding any related video to this campaign this is actually demonstration video and i'm not going to be going too deep so that i will not get you confused at the end of everything now let's go to the next step the additional setting is also not that very important at the moment now we go to the next step which is the ad group creation so the next thing is for me to enter a name for the ad group i've entered a name for the campaign i will also enter a name for the ad group and i also recommend for you to enter a very descriptive name for the ad group so that you can easily remember the ad group and the simple reason is because when you create a campaign on google or let me say on your google as account you can create thousands of campaign in that account now imagine you have about 1000 campaign in your account and you don't give them a descriptive name it will be very difficult for you to identify a campaign when it's time for you to manage it and again in your campaign you can have thousands of ad group in every campaign you have on your google ads account so if you have maybe a campaign that has maybe 500 ad group it might be very difficult for you to identify ad group if you don't give them a very descriptive name that is why i usually recommend to give your campaign and the ad group a very good name so that you can easily remember them so for this i can go ahead and type 15 second video demo so the next thing is the targeting and the targeting is how you want the advert to deliver maybe you want to target by audience or by content that is a little bit advanced i will not talk about that right now but basically you can target your advert by audience or by content and for the audience you can choose to target by demographics or by audience segment that you have defined in your google ads account that is actually beyond the scope of this video so i have separate video for that and i have a course that talks about this in detail so you can go ahead and look at that course the link will be available in the description of this video so right now i have that option i can decide to choose any option for this but again if you don't choose any option your advert can still be delivered by google so that is why you will want to define your targeting very well so that your message or your advertisement can be served to the people who matters most to your business now i will not do anything with that right now so that i don't make this video excessively long i will go to the next step and the next step is for me to start creating advert for this particular campaign or for this particular ad group and remember i said this type of advert we'll be creating is for awareness purpose and then we need a 15 seconds video for us to be able to do that if I want to go ahead and use a longer video, you will see what will happen right now. So let's go ahead and copy one of the longer videos I have right here. I copy this, then I come back here, I paste the link, and I want to see what will happen. So you can see, Google says this video is too long. You need to choose a video that is between 7 and 15 seconds. So that is one of the things you want to see. If the video is longer than 15 seconds, you will not be able to use it for this type of advertisement. And when you are using the 15 seconds video, make sure you are able to deliver the message of your advertisement completely in that 15 seconds video. So I will go ahead and remove this right now. Then I will go back and copy this particular video. I already have a video for this purpose. So I will come back right here and I will paste the video. And then you will see the video is accepted right now and then i will be able to proceed to the next step in the configuration so i can go ahead and put the final url and the final url is basically where you want people to see when they click on your advertisement so for me i might want people to visit my website when they click on the advert so i will go ahead and copy the link or just web so let's use or just web academy copy the link right here then i paste it right here that is fine so you can go ahead and select a call to action for this particular ad or you can allow google to use their default call to action if i click on this i will see the call to action option then i can go ahead and enter it but remember you have a very limited character 
for you to be able to put a call to action. That is why you might want to leave it for Google to determine the best call to action for the advert. After that, you go to the next step and then Google tell you to add a name for the advert. You can even add a name for the advert if you have a name for the video. But I won't do that right now because that is not very important for the whole process. I will go to the next step. I will say ad creation, which means I've created just one ad for this ad group. Then the next thing there is the bid. Remember, the budget is the amount you want to spend for this particular campaign. But the bid is the amount you want to pay each time 1,000 people see this advertisement. This type of advert is not going to be each time a person see your advert. It's going to be each time 1,000 people see your advertisement. Now, right now we have about 6,599.91. That is the suggestion that Google is giving me for this campaign, which is I'm going to be paying 6,000. 599.91 each time 1000 people see my advertisement but i don't want that to happen that is too high that is like about six naira per user or per view on my advertisement is too high i can decide to say i want to pay 1000 naira per view obviously the warning will come up which is google is telling me to increase my target cpm for this bid i'm not going to do that I will leave it this way then i will continue in fact i can decide to say 500 naira for every 1000 people that see the advertisement on google so you can actually determine the cpm but again if your cpm is too low your advert might not serve at all or it might not serve efficiently that is why sometimes the recommendation from google might be okay but in most cases the recommendation from google can be very expensive so it is good for me to leave it this way if i use 1000 naira for 1000 people that sees the advert it means i'll be paying one naira for each person that see my 15 seconds advert on youtube and that is perfectly fine then i will go to the next step the next step right now is for me to create the campaign and that is the final step right in the whole process for this video so i will click on create a campaign then Google will ask me to review everything and then when everything is fine, I will continue I click on continue to overview, then write the campaign is set and the advert will be reviewed by Google. And once the advert is approved, the advert will go live on YouTube and then people will start seeing my advert on YouTube. And this is how I can run advert to reach thousands of people or even millions of people and pay as low as one naira which is equivalent to about 0 0.006 dollars per view as at the time of recording this video and i hope with this you will be able to advertise your business and then you'll be able to reach thousands or even millions of people with the help of google advertisement there are so many things you can do with google ads and that is why i have the exclusive training that will show you everything about google advertisement this is just one of the numerous options available on google as so when you go ahead and take the special package i want to reveal to you right now which is my three in one google ads course which includes youtube advertisement google search advertisement and display advertisement you'll be able to learn everything you need to know about google ads and how to run profitable ads for your business so the link will be available in the description of this video go ahead and click on the link and grab the offer and you'll be able to master google advertisement and youtube advertisement i hope you learned something in this video if you have some questions feel free to ask your questions in the comment section and i will address every single question don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video thanks again for watching and bye for now